Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, and salam sejahtera to everyone. Uh, thank you for taking your time listening to our presentation today. So my name is Dr. Awangku Hassan Al Bahar bin Pangeran Bagul. I am from University of Malaysia Sabah and I am actually doing this poster presentation with my colleague from uh, DBKK, the one Mandaraya Kota Kinabalu, Madam Fozyatun Awang Samad. So basically, we are presenting our innovation idea on developing community based ecotourism framework for sustainability. So what we have done so far in 2017, the end of the 2017, uh, that we actually uh, involve in turning one village, Kampung Kabuni, which is in the vicinity of Kota Kinabalu City, as a tourism destination. So in order for the village to be well preserved and have but better impacts. So we decided that it has to be a community-based ecotourism. So community-based so that everyone, everybody is involved and ecotourism because it gives uh, a little bit of conservation to the area, giving the I'm sure in the well-being um, to, uh, to the local people and also enhancing the experience of the visit as well. So uh, what we have done basically um, we started with uh, a lot of programs on capacity building in preparation for the uh, the you know for the uh, tourism ecotourism in the village and then after that, um, also um, uh, the BKK also do a lot of programs for them as well, especially with the homestay and attracting a lot of stakeholders that actually contribute to the beautification and some infrastructure development to the village. So um, I think this is um, a great project um, because it has actually uh, given some very positive impacts to the village and um, and why this is important to us it's because that a lot of the community development actually do not met their objective because a lot of them um, may not be able to be executed properly and also the output may not be as desirable as it should so what we have found at the end of the project uh, was um, there are three impacts. The first one is actually an enhancement in the social economy of the village, uh, which means that we did a survey. I think the first survey that we did, um, the ones that involve in the tourism, uh, actually earn about 150 to 200 per month extra as a secondary income, um, and the second year that we surveyed is actually going up to 200 to 250 and above and that's actually quite a good um, numbers uh, because this is a secondary income and also that they established with the help of dbkk the villages established the co-op so that um, any kind of profits come from the community basic tourism goes back to the community in a fair manner so that's the first impact that we think is um, actually quite positive. The second one is when we started this project and a lot of the participants are uh, women and the women actually started to become uh, leaders and coordinators and taking a bit more responsibility in um, operating the ecotourism. So um, that's actually quite um, good to us. And also we're very happy to see that too. And we realized that that um, this tourism industry, the community basic tourism, actually give them empowerment um, in a way that that they actually um, having projects or having um, small small little things that they can execute. Organizers they have they can actually work in a structure, and also they're earning incomes too. So women empowerment would be the second positive impact, and the third one would be enhance sustainability in the village where we think that um, the um, village has 
um, becoming more beautiful, more structured, more organized, and also um, we attracted a lot of ideas. For example, that uh, the villagers wanted to do an organic gardens so that they can provide organic food to the tourists. So this is like a concept of a farm to table kind of concept. So these are basically uh, the three impacts that we think that um, had happened. So this is actually quite a good output for this um, project. So um, what happened was is because the experience of this um, project from 2017, the end of 2017 until 2021. So DBKK actually able to come up with a framework on how to do community-based ecotourism that actually will um, you know, have an output for sustainability. So they call this the Framework for Sustainable uh, Community-Based Ecotourism. And this is actually quite um, a very interesting one, um, which uh, as far as I'm concerned, that um, I've been working in this field for uh, for a long time, about 25 years. And these are the first one that is actually quite updated, quite comprehensive, and it's also inclusive of sustainable development goals and also the um, Global Code of Ethics for Tourism. So these are very updated, very comprehensive ones too. So why this framework is um, valuable? It is because that we have hundreds um, of village, villages in Kota Kinabalu and a lot of them fit to become a tourism destination of sites. And of course, we want to promote community-based tourism because of the impacts that we had in Kabuni. And so this framework can be used and replicate in the villages um, around Kota Kinabalu. So we would like to see the ripples of that positive impacts um, replicated um, to other villages too. So um, the commercialization potential for this uh, for this um, framework is that definitely um, every stage of the framework we can do a training and of course um, you know in terms of capacity building which is very essential in ensuring the output are positive and also the training can be um, basically digitalized. So these are actually very um, kind of like uh, important to not just the villages, but it's also for the consultants, the NGOs as well. And of course, um, with the framework being replicated in other villages as well, so it actually um, created, um, you know, a commercial um, demands for like services like tour operators or tour services, um, guides, dancers, and also products like souvenirs, homestay food, and beverages. So, um, so far, I think I'm um, very um, happy to say that this um, project has been awarded um, in ICA, uh, which is the Academic Industry Collaboration Award in 2018 by UMS. And also um, the village is also awarded as a DESA, the STARI. Um, and at the state level in 2019, and most recently is this year uh, that it's been featured in um, one of our um, projects also, which is the uh, recovery in cultural tourism funded by Australian ASEAN uh, a council. Uh, this is uh, from the Department of Foreign Trades and Affairs, uh, Australia, and this is basically uh, led by the James Cook University in Australia and partnered with Indonesia Sava. So again, um, thank you very much for your attentions. I do hope that um, you can see the value in the framework that we have developed um, with DBKK. So um, thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera.